Happy New Year 2012 and Jesus holy name out there to you for the God of Israel. <clears throat> Happy New Year 2012 you YouTubers there on the YouTube Blessed Cyberspace channel. I got a, a new prophetic dream I'm going to release tonight. This new year, new thing here. And uh, tomorrow I've been preaching the gospel for 27 years. I've had so much fun. Jesus called me to preach. 27 years tomorrow, I preached in uh, prisons and jails. I preached on the streets. I preached in ghettos. I preached on the radio. I preached on TV. I preached on the internet. I preached on GodTube. I preached on YouTube. And praise God, it's been fun. Jesus has saved uh, hundreds and millions of souls over them 27 years. Any of your preachers out there to run from the call of the Lord, I'm telling you right now in Jesus' name, you run to God. Don't run from the call of God. You run to the Lord. Don't run away from the God. Because them preachers that run from the call of God, you're the most miserable person on planet earth. Run to the call of God. <clears throat> He'll put the words in your mouth. And this prophetic dream tonight is about this dream I had a couple months ago in August the 19th, 2011. And me and Betty was in this uh, city. I'm going to explain to it uh, a little longer in the video here. So I pray, come down, Lord, today with your anointing, your Holy Ghost, and far, oh God, forgive me. I'm a sinner saved by grace. I'm the chiefest of sinners. Oh Lord, let thy mantle, thy prophetic mantle, let it flow, flow like the uh, Mississippi, flow like the Ohio, flow like the Amazon, flow like the Nile. Flow with your Holy Ghost and fall you and on your presence. Touch them. Fill them with the Holy Ghost and fall from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet. Let the power of God anoint uh, them. Jesus for your glory. God, thank you, Jesus. And this is how God talks to his men and women of God, his uh, pastors and prophets, evangelists and teachers. For the glory be to God, his apostles. Uh, in Numbers chapter 12, verses... Six, seven, and eight. And he said, Hear now my words. <clears throat> if there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make known myself known unto him in a vision, and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so who is faithful in all mine house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches, in the servitude of the Lord shall he behold. Wherefore then ye were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses. And God's called me to be his prophet to the nations <clears throat> in nineteen eighty eight. Now I'm going on, let's see. It's gonna be uh twenty four years in two thousand twelve here. I've been prophesying to North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East the word of the Lord and his prophecies has come full in his appointed time. Wait for the vision. It won't tear. If you wait on God's appointed time, it will be fulfilled. It will be performed. He will accomplish it. And this uh, prophetic dream I had was on August the 19th, 2011. In this dream, me and Betty was in a large city like a million people. And there was uh, no cars in the city, no people in the city. I believe this is going to be when Homeland Security gets the U.S. military to hunt down Christians for not taking the mark of the beast, they'll be thrown in FEMA camps. And in this dream, <clears throat> we've seen two people, homeless people. And one man asked me, how old are you? In this dream, I said, 58 years old. I won't be 59 years old till July the 19th, 2012. And that dream... That, that man asked how old I was was August the 19th, 2011. And that was nine months from my birthday to I turned 59. So this uh, prophetic dream, this prophecy, this uh, uh, ghost town in the U.S. city, a million people. Nobody's in the city, no destructions to the buildings. But there's uh, no cars in this city, no people, but two people in this city, like two homeless people. And the other part of the dream, me and Betty... We're on top of coal mines. The second part of this dream, running on top of coal 
a car is full of coal. We're running. There's no engines to be seen nowhere. And God was telling me that he's the source. I used to be a coal miner. I'm a third generation coal miner. And coal is the source for energy. But God is our energy. He's our source. And the apocalypse and, and, and this terrible uh, end of the world dream. And it's going to happen before July the 19th. 2012 and God give that to me on August the 19th 2011 like he's birthing a travail intercession is like a woman has a baby in nine months this will be fulfilled and I don't believe this won't be the only city over the United States of America this a terrible thing will happen they'll uh, take you off to the FEMA camps for the people not talking to taking a mark of the beast for Antichrist Obama his plan will start in 2012 will be the year Christians praying fast. This is going to be a valley shadow of death. This is going to be a perilous times. This is going to be Jacob's trouble. And we got to pray fast and direction from the Lord. Wherever God wants us to go, He will protect us. He will hide us in His cliffs of His rock. He's a rock of Israel, rock of all ages. But pray for direction. 2012 is going to be a very crucial prophetic uh, ap apocalypse year for Jesus' prophecies to be fulfilled. Many of them in 2012 and this part of the film the video here now will be uh, if you don't know Jesus Christ this is a new year 2012 this is a new start a new beginning a blessed holy year of the most high God this to be the year to turn your life over to the Lord this is January the 1st 2012 and on this video turn your life over to the Lord too many years you run from God. You run away from God. But today, God and Jesus want you to run to Him before it's too late. Just coming up in the future. There's dark, ominous storm clouds gathering. And the Christians are making the rain. They keep marching on the Zion. But it's going to be a tough old year only by God holding your hand and Jesus holding your hand. You're going to make it in the promised land. Say this prayer with me today. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, and Jesus Christ will save your soul. What a happy new year 2012 you set Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Lord Jesus Christ, <clears throat> I come to you the first day of a new year 2012, that I'm a sinner, Lord. Forgive me for my sin, Lord Jesus Christ. Save my soul, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to start out the new year on the right foot to accept you as my personal Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Be born again. My name's written in the last book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. You said that prayer. Give Jesus a best hand clap. Give God all the praise, honor, and glory. Your name written in the last book of life. Just email me and Betty Kelly on YouTube channel, the old beloved YouTube channel. Write us. We have our address on the old beloved YouTube channel, George. And Betty Cully's channel. We love you today. We be praying for you. You be praying for us. At least the Brother Ministries here in Pinkneyville, Illinois. Happy New Year 2012. You just shook the nation for Jesus Christ. You stepped in him as your personal Savior. The greatest miracle for mankind when Jesus comes in your heart. You're the richest man or woman ever walked the face of earth. The glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise your holy name. Thank you for the salvations today. Today's a day of salvation for Jesus and for God's glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.